You can create value stream maps in the QI macros very easily. Simply go to the QI macros menu, go to Lean Tools, and choose Value Stream Mapping. And that will bring up the template. Now here you can see we have all of the different symbols you need. So customer supplier, a Kaizen Blitz, external shipment, all kinds of things. And you can simply copy these as needed. So if I needed a forklift, I could just choose that and choose copy. There are also a variety of example formats for a value stream map. And so here we could just do right click and do a paste. And it'll stick in another forklift for me. I can also copy and paste process blocks. So if I right click on that, I can choose copy then choose paste, get another process block, and I can edit that as well. All of these descriptions in here are all described on the first page. We can also insert shapes, so we can use connector blocks. So I could do from right here down to right there. And then whenever you move a box around, it'll go wherever you want it to go. We can also add additional things here. We could copy and paste that. Paste those in there, move those around. We could also copy and paste the value added and non-value added portions of this process. Any delays are considered to be non-value added. So here's our non-value added row, and here's our value added row. And so that's how easy it is to actually create a value stream map in the QI macros. And I invite you to have fun exploring how to draw these charts in the QI macros.